What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ron Rana, out of Houston, Texas. Guys, today we're going to be talking about virtual assistants and how to, uh, how to build an entire VA empire. So we're going to wait for a little bit till everybody tunes in. Make sure you're getting your questions ready, guys. We're going to wait till everyone kind of comes in. A lot of people are flowing in now. Um, so, yeah, guys, we're going to talk about VAs and how to build a VA empire. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome, 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 everybody. Listen, listen, guys. This is going to be an exclusive training only for my personal Facebook and the Wholesaling Real Estate 101 group, guys. Um, I wanted to bring up uh, my VA manager, not just my top VA. She started out as a VA in my company. She did so well just in a few months. She was able to jump the ranks, and uh, I was looking for someone to be a manager in the company, to lead the VA team, and she has done a phenomenal job. Uh, France has been with me for about a little over a year now, uh, and we have literally grown an entire uh, VA empire, an operation. This is going to be a full-blown Q&A. Any questions that you have, make sure you guys are asking. All right, guys. Francis, what's going on? This is the first time I have actually had an employee on uh, one of my channels or podcast or live, right? So uh, let's bring them to fire, Francis. Uh, a lot of the questions are coming in now, right, guys? So we want to make sure uh, that you guys are dropping your questions. If you have any questions, when you have any questions, uh, that you guys are dropping your questions below. So absolutely. Francis, welcome to the show. What's going on? Hi, hi guys. All good for me. How's how's it going, guys? So I'm very excited to be part of the show. And yeah, we'll talk about a lot of um how to have a VA empire. So um keep the questions coming, guys. Um we'll just wait for those questions to be in. All right. Very much excited to be part of this podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where you're from, I can kind of tell by your accent probably uh, where you're from, right? You're, you're not from uh, the Bahamas or the Caribbean for <laughs> sure, right? Uh, but uh, you are near somewhat an island. Uh, so wh where are you from, Francis? Where do you come from? All right, um, just a, a quick introduction of myself. My name is France. I'm already 29 years old. And um, I've been in the BPO industry for or almost uh, since 2015. 2009 and uh, I found my way to freelancing since 2015. So I have five years background in real estate and I have, I've been doing VA cold call, I'm sorry, VA uh, freelancing since 2015. And I have um, approximately um, four years of um, experience with, um, with VA managing. So yeah. Uh, Huge background with real estate. And, okay. Um, okay. So, so in other words, you're a beast at what you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 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 Um, so you've been with me for a little over a year now. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about, you know, how, how do you like it here? How do you like it with the company? Well, I like it very much. Um, this is just not about a company. Um, the CEO, Saron, treats us like family. So this is what I love about the, 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 the job. As, um, uh, when he promoted me after within, within just a month, I promised myself to devote my working skills all to Sir Ron. So yeah, I've been doing a lot for the past. Awesome, year. awesome, good stuff. I'm super excited that we've, we've got a lot of comments already. It's it's going nuts, right? So let's let's go ahead and start and let's give the people what they want, right? Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to sit down with you, Francis, and go over a lot of nuances and intricacies. People just don't know how to find the right VA, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the problem that people have is that they don't know where 
to look for a VA, right? Um, they don't know how to um, quote unquote control uh, the traffic or control the job duties. They just don't know what to look for um, uh, in a VA. And that's the biggest thing, right? That's the biggest thing that you're, we're gonna talk about is, is how to find VAs, right? We're gonna go over the training and developing. We're gonna go over how you manage them on a daily basis. So let me ask you, how many VAs do you manage for me? Yep, um, we have seven VAs um, that, um, that's that been with us, with the company, so yeah. Awesome, so you know, managing that many VAs is a task, right? Um, and we are growing, right? Um, it's not about, especially right now with COVID-19, you know, um, I think we had a, probably about a week slowdown where I had to tell everybody just halt, but then like, let's go, let's go, let's go, right? But that's because we didn't know what was going on uh, with the market, and that's kind of what, where everybody was. So, um, yeah, let's let's jump right in, Francis. Like I said, you know, uh, from the cold calling, you know, we're going to talk about systems. We're going to talk about processes, right? Questions are coming in right now. People are asking them. So um, the first question comes in, where do you look for a VA? Okay, since I also have uh, an HR background, um I actually have um, premium platforms to find VAs. However, we have on Facebook uh, market that we have groups. Um, you can just type in virtual assistance or Filipino virtual assistance. There you can just post your um, job openings and then um, they will just um, email you their resume. So that would be a very, very quick way to find a VA. Okay, what's another way um, of finding a VA? Say if uh, I heard Fiverr was was good. I heard uh, Upwork, Upwork, right? Um, yes. When we go out, where do we go out and look for VAs? Like when we want to hire for our company, like where do we go? When we, we would like to hire for a company, where do we go? Yeah. Okay. Um. Actually, um, we use Upwork as well. However, um, with Upwork, they um ask you for fees um quite um a little expensive but you you it's a uh, rest assured that all the vas there are very professional so that's going to be the pro the the good thing about upward it's just have a fee okay okay that's that's fine um you know so let's let's go over you know as far as uh some of the you know pay structure for vas a lot of people don't understand how a va you know there's a difference between a, a good VA and a bad VA, right? Um, and when we say VA, we're talking about virtual assistants, right? Um, so if someone doesn't know what a VA is, we're talking about a virtual assistant. But um, before we get into the pay, let's go over some of the duties. What does a VA, do? like who is a VA and what does a VA do? For the task of the VA. So um, here in real estate, um, we do cold calling as our marketing strategy. So we hire cold callers and what they do is um, they call um, cold leads and then they turn into um, interested leads. Um, so uh, we use tools. Um, what we use in our company is uh, call tools and also Zen call. So for that, our VAs, we require our VAs to have their daily quota. Our quota would be 300 to 400 calls a day. So. Um, I add up uh, manual dials to them to add add, add for their productivity for productivity as well. So um, what else? Um, VAs also can do your admin tasks. Um, that's what I've been doing with Sir Ron, admin task, and um, I also help with the hiring process. Um, what else? I I also help um, with um, training process. So um, once we in need of VAs, um, we do hire VAs. I, I do all the hiring and also I train them. And um, I make sure that they're ready to go before I board them to the team. So um, what I do as well um, as a VA manager, um, managing seven VAs, I make sure um, I'm very keen of their attendance. That's um, number one. And I make sure that they have laptop backups internet backups because um the, the, that is one of their excuse would be um their internet connection <clears throat> so for us we require um someone with um, internet backups like a broadband or say you can use your phone if um say for example you don't have internet at home so um also we have um uh what we do is um 
I manage their product. I, I I focus on their productivity because call tools have a very good um report system, wherein I just need to click on this link and I can see all the reports within the day, within a week or end of the month. So also I make sure to call monitor every day, not just every day, every every time they send uh, leads. So I validate the leads. I make sure that it is qualified or not, because um, <clears throat> it is uh, very important that you teach your VAs to know which is qualified or not qualified. Leads. And then on my end, as a VA manager, I need I just need to validate it. So um, after that, I also teach them how to manage EOD reports. Every end of day, um, we require them to send. Well, what is that? What is an EOD report? If somebody oh, might not report. know. Sorry. End, end of, of day, day report. report. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um in inside those end of day report, it's an Excel format wherein they will just include the name of the leads that they submitted, the number of or the phone number of the leads, um, email address, uh, and the notes or what happened to the call. And then we will submit that to Sir Ron or to our um admin. And um our acquisition manager, acquisition team will call them to try to do the closing so that is the, the the process that we do so again um they have 300 to 400 calls a day and we require five to six leads per vas a day so um wait wait um, say that again how many do we require uh oh, per lead per, per VA, va five to six leads a day that's how five to six I leads right we're talking about we're talking about qualified leads not just Hey, you know, they, they don't, they're just trying to beat the bushes. Like our VAs are actually like, Hey, do you want to sell? Yes or no. Right? Like this is not, we're not here to play games. Like if you, they, we're talking about actual people who are motivated, right? Who have, who are distressed, right? People who are actually wanting to sell their houses. And that's the biggest thing, right? Because we can go out and get an order taker all day. Somebody can go out and get take orders all day, right? Like McDonald's or or fast food. You want to be an order taker. Someone tells you yes or no. We want a, a beast VA, right? And let's move on to the training part of it now, okay? How do we actually um, train our VAs to get to that certain level, right? Do we just put them on the phones right away or do we actually – oh, we don't, right? We don't. So um, I know the answer to it, but I'm asking for everyone else, right? How do we do it, right? Do what qualifies them to get on the phone uh, so we can go ahead and uh, let them go on their own? Okay, so what qualifies um, them? At first, I will assess them through my interview or um, phone interview, um, their communication skills and whatnot, and also their experience. And um, once they pass the interview, um, I proceed with the training. What I do on trainings, I will a lot just um, say one to two hours of script uh script review so i will send them the script um i'll ask them to review that overnight and uh, on the next day i will call them for an hour and um we'll do the mock call mock call meaning um i'll pretend as the buyer and they will be the 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 the, the cold caller so um i will increase the level of um resistance to see how they overcome or how they react with with um, with no's or rejections so that that's what what I do on trainings, and um, what else? I make I, I after that um, I try to um, board them in a one hour on their own um, callings. So um, I'm on call monitoring. Uh, basically, um, every call I, I they just don't know that I'm just listening within one hour. You're spying <laughs> so, on them. Yeah, I'm spying because call tools actually have a spy button where you okay. can just um barge and um listen to their calls. They they don't they don't know that you're there. So that's what I've been doing. So um I I bit on that phase. I'm assessing how many calls they can do an hour. So of course they're just new. We could we, we cannot um uh expect that they can have twenty to twenty five calls an hour, which is the uh, senior VAs can do. 25 to 30 calls an hour okay so you said more. senior va right there's a big thing um you said senior va do we have uh junior vas and senior vas how do we do it yes. 
Yep, um, we have senior VAs. Actually, we have on our team now, we have five senior VAs. Um, I, I could um, tell that they are senior if they are already six months and up in the company. And they've been doing cold calling for us um, since, uh, since then. So um, with that, because oh, cold calling is a process. Um, every day, you will be better at it, better in how to handle rejections, better in how to, to do cold calling or add up the, the number of calls per hour. So they start at 10, 10 calls an hour. And um, as hour goes by, it will um, improve. So um, once they hit 20 to 25, um, I can say that I am ready to board them on the team. So um, with four hours left on uh, or half day um, with their, themselves just doing the cold call, on the next day, they are ready to board the team because, of course, it's just a process. Within four hours, they can just hit the, the target of 20 to 25 calls. So um, with just one day, you will just allot one day of um, monitoring, training, monitoring, um, just giving your assistance, full support with that VA. You can um, board them on the next day. That, that's a guarantee. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now you said something uh, uh, that really intrigued, uh, piqued my interest where, you know, we have had instances, let's talk about the, the horror stories of VAs. Now oh. we've had <laughs> VAs, <laughs> we've had VAs who work like two hours and say they've worked six hours. Right. Yeah. And, and we've caught them. They think that you, we can't catch them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They, okay. So they think that we, 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 we don't catch them, but we do. They don't know. I have such a, a ninja uh, <laughs> VA manager here. Who's a spy. She, she's the Filipino James Bond. So she knows that, how to check everything. And then I get a phone call saying, Hey, you know, Sir Ron, um, I, I have some news and, and I know when I get those phone calls, like, Oh, here we go. You make that decision. So let's go over some of your roles, right? Do you, do I give you authoritative authority uh, over these VAs? Um, do I delegate some tasks to you, right? And, and what are those tasks that as an owner um, should delegate to uh, the VA? Yes, um, actually, um, I really appreciate it. Um, you giving me authority on handling the VAs. Like um, say, for example, I, I noticed that this VA is not producing really well. Like just your example, um, we have eight hour shift and um, uh, looking at the call monitoring um, tools that we have, I, I noticed that the VA already only worked for four hours. So um, at first, um, my, my process here as a VA manager, I will inform Sir Ron, but Sir Ron will tell me to handle it myself. For, of course, for my, my growth as well, for, on how to, for me on how to handle those kinds of situations. So I, I've learned a lot um, with this company. So with that, what I do is um, I con confront them. Of course, you could confront them in a very, very nice way. You ask them what happened. Maybe do you, do you, show, up at, do you show up at their house with a bat? Yeah. Hi. So you're sleeping. <laughs> no. So basically there, um, I, I just need to have the right words on how to, to confront them in a, in a very nice way. Sometimes they're just um, shy to tell you that they're not feeling well. But um, this is the uh, big secret here in uh, to, to be successful in cold calling, to have a better communication with the manager, the VAs, and also your, your boss. Um, you have to be very open on what you feel, on, on how you feel about anything, so that um, in that way, you, you have a better teamwork. So I, I, we, Sir Ron, also um, encourage everyone to be very, very open uh, when it comes to work, your family, because we treat, we treat each other just not like a work mate, workmates. We treat each other like family here. So very. very and, and I think that's that's big, right? That's a huge yeah. gem because mm -hmm. um, treating everyone like family. Like if they have any problems, if they're you know having uh, uh, domestic issues, or they talk mm -hmm. to us, right? We we ask them, say, hey, what's going on? Instead mm -hmm. of saying, why were you why were you not at work? Right? Why were you not a cold calling? Right? Um, and there's a way to train and, and develop, right? Um, and I think that's huge, especially um, having uh, that culture and, and having that teamwork. Yes, I agree. I, I, I very much agree with that. Okay, awesome. Uh, if you don't agree, I'm going to fire you, so you're good. 
<laughs> All right. So the questions are coming in. Let's jump to the questions. There we go. There we go. Um, so Joseph Tomsik asks, is asking us, what is the place to hire a VA from? So it says, what is the place to hire them from? Them meaning uh, VAs. I think you touched base uh, on that a little bit, right? Yes, so we're already done with that. So we have websites on where to, we can find. Um, so my suggestion is Upwork if you really want um, very highly skilled um, VAs. We also have Facebook groups. You can just type in virtual assistants and then the, you, could, you could just post your job openings and um, they will just um, email you the resumes and that's it. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. So um, let's let's go into some of the, um, you know, some of the huddles that we do, um, our daily huddles in the morning, right? Or with the VAs, right? Um, at what time do we normally have a call with the VA? Uh, is it okay. is it during the day? Is it after the day? Is it is it before the day starts? When do we do our calls? Okay, we have 30 minutes before their shift. Uh, we just do huddle. Basically, um, sometimes not work, just um, asking everyone if they're okay you know what's going on with their life and also um just mind setting everyone about the work and stuff like that or to update everyone say for example someone's absent and we we have an update so it's very very important to have a pre-shift um huddle so we would suggest that one as well okay that's a that's actually a great nugget there having a mm -hmm. you know a huddle in the morning to make sure everyone's kind of on the on the same page right um yes. Let's see, Jaime. Jaime asks, what hours are the cold caller VA working? Great question. Uh, great. Mm -hmm. Very, very great uh, great question. Here in uh, with Servon, we usually do the normal working hours. So that's going to be nine to six. Um, so yeah. So if you hire a virtual assistant in the Philippines, you, you always ask them if they're willing to work US hours, if they're willing to work really good shifts. Because it's gonna be nighttime in the Philippines. Okay, so yeah, when it's daytime in, in the U.S., um, for example, we are in. Uh, I'm in uh, Central Standard Time, uh, and right mm -hmm. now it's two eleven p.m. in the Philippines. What time is it? Three eleven a.m. Three a.m. Wow, guys! Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> so, awesome. See how this is the type of people that I require, uh, guys. I want hard workers, right? Uh, Frances uh, provides for her uh, two beautiful girls. She she's able to do stuff for them that she's really not able to do um, anywhere else, right? And and I take pride in that because um, we are able to you know come out and uh, do our job, provide for our family, and and, and do what we want to do, right? Um, your your daughter had a birthday and she got a nice birthday gift from us, right? We we yeah. we sent her some some money, right? She was really excited. And also my birthday. <laughs> Remember? Oh, you're, yeah, you got, you got, you got money for your birthday too. And I think that's yeah. a big thing. You got to treat your um, employees like family and that's, that's what we do. So the next question is uh, from Nicholas is which mm -hmm. dialer system do you use? So let's jump right in, right? Um, there's two type of dialers. So go ahead and go into that, into that. All right. So um, we have call tools and Zen call. So um, right now we're, we've been using call tools for a very, very long time. And we would like to um, recommend as well call tools. Like uh, what I say, um, uh, it's very, very much easy to use. It's uh, user friendly. And also um, when it comes to the CEOs, admins, and the VA managers, it's very helpful because there, is, there are already reports tab already. Uh, once you click that, you will see all their productivity. So that that is very highly recommended. Um, uh website that's going to be calltools.com okay so that answers his question right there we do use call tools um if you guys have any questions make sure you reach out to us in regards to how to get that set up uh we'll make sure we can uh answer that for you guys so all right chris monroe big dog chris monroe he's asking us how often should training be weekly daily monthly how sh how often should it be okay so um like we said we have um pre-shift um updates so um actually um sometimes we do training during our pre-shift or um we will be sending them out the updated scripts or whatever updates that we have and we have a homework for them to um review that on their own and then after uh, on the pre-shift um uh, 
we tackle that each and every one of us um we say or um, inform sir on whichever say for example we d we don't understand um certain things so our bosses are always there to clarify everything so we do trainings also um pre-shifts and um okay, also yeah. i make sure uh, before i board them to the team um they're very 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 um flawless <laughs> Awesome. Yes, they have to be right. Because, yeah. um, and, and the biggest thing is, let's go into, um, I have a question for you, which is the most important, I think, question of them all. A lot of people think that uh, VAs in the Philippines are lazy, right? I don't think so, because we hire all of our uh, VAs through the Philippines, right? And a lot of think, a lot of people think, uh, and one of the myths uh, in having a VA in the Philippines that they just disappear like that right which it, it happens right so let's go over some of the let's go over some of the cons and then we'll go over some of the pros of having a va in the philippines okay so actually we have um nine biggest challenges with filipino virtual assistants so um the first one would be the disappearing act so um filipino actually tend to disappear without any notice or um without um, informing the, the ops or, or your bosses. Um, some, some say this is because um, they are too shy to let you know that they're encountering any problems, say for example, family issues or um, personal problems. So um, that would be um, the, I think the top um, challenge that we have um, working with um, Filipino virtual assistant, but not all. Um, this is just an um, example of um, the challenges. Another thing, um, number two would be bad internet connection. Because um, internet in the Philippines, we know that um, it's not that reliable. So um, uh, my suggestion my is before you hire the A's, you ask them to picture their um, main modem or a main router and also send a screenshot of their speed test so in that way um both of you will be um uh, it will convince you um if um they, their internet are reliable so it, us with um with Suron, we require 15 to 20 mbps minimum so um another thing third would be ele um, unreliable electricity so we we all me and Saron always got a call in the morning. Hey, um, we don't have power or we have power outage. Or sometimes they will not message me at all. So I was like, hey, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> it's the disappearing act. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happens like all the time. Yeah. All right. So um, on my interview, pro um, uh, questions sometimes i insert do you have um generator or say for example if they are power outage um how long will be your travel to go to a place where you can work again so say for example you will you have to go to your mom's house how long will it take you 15 to 20 minutes so make sure to to ask them those kinds of um uh, questions so that um you know that um in, in any case like this if they say I have power outage. No, you just go to your mom. It's just 15 minutes away from you. There you go. So we keep we keep them. The, the key word that I'm hearing is accountability. We mm. keep them accountable, right? Yes. They don't just get to fall off the face of the earth uh, because they have a hardcore uh, beast manager that they know that's going to hunt them down and knock on their door. So um, And they can't get away with it. So our next question is going to uh, be from Chris. Uh, should a person have a budget set aside before hiring a VA? Of course, we, we, we should have um, set aside budget um, for the VAs. Just to give you um, a rough estimate, um, when you hire VAs, um, always have um, like minimum of 5 to $8 per VA or 5 to 9 say, for example. It depends on the skills. So if for an entry level, um, those would be um, the rates. And if they are... Um, like the senior level, of course, you have to have a budget for that. But of course, you'll know that your um your work will be very well taken care of because they're they already have um uh, experience. And, and that's a key point. Experienced mm -hmm. VAs are getting mm -hmm. between five to eight dollars somewhere mm -hmm. somewhere around there, right? Um, yes. Now, if what if they're not so experienced? 
Um, how do we start off with them? Do we have a tier system? Yes. Um, for uh, so we call them our uh, the entry level. Um, so we start off at um, say for example four dollars, um, three to four dollars, um, with that. And um, of course, you just need to reassure them that after say uh, you're in a prob probationary period, um, if we uh, if you perform and would like to go go on with you, we can add up a dollar and a dollar, just uh, like a promotion for them. So yeah. Awesome. And do we increment the promotions? We don't just go straight to a dollar, right? We always mm -hmm. do it 50 cents? 50 cents, yes. Three, okay. three, three fifty to four. Awesome. So now that we went over some of the cons, let's go over some of the pros. What is the benefit of hiring a VA? Not only hiring a VA, what's the benefit of, of uh, having a good VA on your team? What can that mean to your pocketbook? Oh, looks like we lost her. We lost her, guys. What happened? I think uh, her laptop was dying, so she'll she'll jump right back on, guys. But there you go. I hope you guys are enjoying this podcast, uh, this this interview style, right? Um, this not over yet. She's coming back online. There she is. All right. There we go. There we go. There you are. Sorry. You for <laughs> See you disappearing app. <laughs> Do you have a generator? <laughs> it's I was gonna ask you. It's Do you got a generator or what? All right, cool, cool. So let's go over the benefits of having a, um, you know, a, a well qualified and trained VA because that's a very hard term that people don't understand. Every time somebody thinks of a VA, they think about some slime slime ball out in, you know, uh, Ecuador, Mexico, Russia, um, you know, Zimbabwe or the Philippines, and they're gonna run off with my money, and I don't know what's gonna happen with them, right? Um, but what is the main benefit of having a, a good VA on your team? All right, so um, as a CEO, um, I think having a virtual assistant would be um, but would benefit you because um, if you're a CEO, you can just focus on um, closing the deals. And for the virtual assistant, they will be the one to do the tedious tasks, the marketing, the calls, and whatnot, and it will save you up a lot of time. So um, that would be, um, I think, the best um, benefit for having VAs. Okay, and having a good VA can add dollars to your pocketbook too, right? We have closed, um, you know, $15,000 deals uh, with the VA lead. We've closed $30,000 deals uh, with the VA lead. What can it do? I'm talking about how can it help you? You know, can it help you uh, bring money to your pocketbook having a good VA, right? It can, right? Um, yes. Especially right now in this day and age, uh, we train our VAs to be closers, right? At okay. the end of the day, they're, they're, they're making sure they're going out there and they're getting quality leads. Um, and I believe having a good VA on your team um, is it, it's just, un, uh, I can't put a price on that, really. I mean, it is what it is, right? The minimum wage um, out here in, in Houston, um, I don't even know what the minimum wage is, to be honest, but um, a lot of the people are entitled here. And that's the biggest thing. Um, the people who are working in the Philippines, they're really appreciative of what they have over there. And they work harder. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So, what are the um, what are the hours of operation for a VA? Hours of operation would be um, normal hours for from uh, for your time. So that's gonna be nine to six p.m. Central. Time. Okay. Central. Okay. So nine to six p.m. Uh, wherever, whatever time zone that you're in, right? Yeah. Uh, we got another question. Um, a lot of these questions are coming off of YouTube. Um, and uh, Facebook, but uh, let's see. How do you know when it's time to fire a bad VA versus keep training? All right. So um, of course we're we uh, we always give chances. So um, we have um, disciplinary acts. So um, first warning would be verbal. Second warning would be written warning, and the last warning would be um, one on one coaching with Sir Ron. So. <laughs> you don't want to get one-on-one -on -one so coaching from me. Know? So how would you know if because um if a VA is not performing, if they cannot um hit the quota that um we provide them, three hundred to four hundred calls a day, for for example, or um five to six leads um submitted a day, if they are not keeping up with other other VAs, you have to approach them 
and ask them um what's going on so maybe there's just a reason so um you can just give them another chance but if they keep on doing that we cannot keep them on board so but we have um process for that it's not just hey you're not you're not um um produ uh, producing so we cannot keep you no we have certain process to, that needs to be followed as well absolutely right and we 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 hire slow but we fire fast i mean we don't yeah. you know it's not like hey you're out the door now we we try and see what the issue is if they're not um if they're not comfortable with our script we script train mm -hmm. them right you get on it and i think training is something that's very um Im imperable it's it's so important to train the va the right way um so that way you can't blame because a lot of a lot of thing i noticed with wholesalers or with investors is that oh the va was bad Oh, the VA didn't work out. Well, why didn't it work out? Did you provide them any training? No. What is that? Was I supposed to provide them? Yes. They they need a sense of direction, right? And that's the biggest thing, especially with VAs. VAs do need um, a sense of direction, um, especially when they come into the company. Again, guys, this is exactly like um, you know taking a baby from step one and and you're molding them, right? You keep molding them on and on and on, right? So let's talk about accent and dialect because we talk a lot about that on our calls um, during our training. You know, we, you and I talk about it a lot. And the first one of the first questions I ask you is, how is the accent? Is it thick or not? Right? Um, you don't want to hire people who have a thick accent. Yes. They want to sound more American, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have a we have one uh, fantastic VA uh, is Terry. She sounds like she's British when she talks. <laughs> she sounds so British. Now we, we we all we are recording RVMs for her like it's nuts like I'm doing RVMs uh and, and I'm making uh Cherry record those and she she has the whole British accent um she can make a British accent but she's she's Filipino so which is pretty pretty awesome we we've, we've got some VAs with different talents so let's talk about <laughs> accent a little bit can you go into detail Yep for accent um upon hiring process of course um you will do a one on one interview with them then you will assess if they have an American accent. In that way, um, because you your target market will be American, so um, that would be um, your number one uh, what you call this uh, uh number one check on your checklist would be um understandable if um he, he or, or their English is understandable. Remove um VAs that have very very thick accents or very very Pinoy accent that they have. So, um, uh, what else? We also require um, VAs for us on, on my end. Um, I would love to have VAs who have BPO um, experience or call center experience already because um, they already took up communication training back then. So, um, it will save you a lot of time with their communication skills. All you have to do is to train them for your, uh, with regards to your process. So um, that would be another tip. Um, look for someone who's already skilled with um, call center experience. But um, for that, they're not asking really, really high price. Um, they, they also accept entry level. So that will be um, a, a best, um, uh, what you call this, um, VAs to, or prospect VAs to put on a team. Awesome. Now let's go over some of the tools that a VA needs in order to do their job. What type of tools does a VA need? What type of tools? You mean qualities of the VAs? Uh, no, I'm talking about, you know, uh, headsets. Uh, what does oh, a VA yeah. need to bring? A laptop, a desktop, you know, a cell phone. Like what does a VA need um, and how do we communicate with our VAs? Yep. Um, for, for the tools, um, we require laptop and their backup laptop. On my end, I have five or six, <laughs> I'm kidding. I have three. Um, and um, also we require them to have headset with USB type, um, meaning um, headset like this. Uh, okay, you see there with a noise cancellation, mute and unmute button here, because here in the Philippines, there are a lot of boosters, so they would need this to cover up those <laughs> there's a there's a lot of what in the philippines roosters <laughs> yeah there are a lot of roosters in the philippines yes absolutely what happened when i first heard um uh, it was funny man a funny story uh, we were going through a quality control call and we heard a rooster in the background that was nuts right oh i almost lost my shit. like i was like what's going on francis get on the phone right now with this va shut them out of the system 
cancel their account, terminate them, fire them. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, yeah, there's a lot of roosters in the Philippines. Yeah, so um, this one is very, very important. Um, it only cost um, 2,000 pesos. So I think that's it's like ten uh, bucks. $40. $40. So um, you have um, someone who, who, want, who has an investment with, with these kinds of things because um, this will be their source of income in the near future. So also we require someone with a um, workstation at home so they're comfortable because um, they will be working with us for nine out eight hours with one hour unpaid lunch so we require someone with um a chair like an office chair like this like mine so that um you'll be very very comfortable it's not just it's not a requirement but um uh we should call this we could suggest um that they have um, a place for them to say that they're comfortable in and with um lesser noise so um if they have um small room um, requ uh, we require them to set their computer up there or office, home office, whatnot. Okay, awesome. Now there's, um, you know, you, you said noise canceling. Is there any type of noise canceling headphones that you would recommend uh, for someone to uh, have their VA uh, go out and do? Yeah, yeah um, actually I'm using Jabra. Okay, awesome. um, my top um, referral for um, headsets would be Jabra and Cantronics. I'm sorry, top three. I have Logitech as well. Those are the good brands for um, VA school calling. They have um, very, very good background noise cancellation and they only cost 2000 to 2500 So that's going to be 40 to just $50. Okay, awesome. Uh, and, and it's not much of a cost, right? Sometimes what we also do is we will um, give a VA an advance, right? Yes. And we do a draw. Uh, and it'll just come out of their uh, paycheck. So uh, yes. another question uh, we're getting is that uh, Frank asked, does she have any friends that work in the business? I may be looking for a VA manager and have some opportunity. So uh, I don't know if that was like, he was trying to say like, if you got any other friends, I don't know what he's doing, but yeah. Hey, do you, have, do you have anyone? <laughs> um, for now, uh, I really don't have, um, but um, I would require you to, um, since you're looking for a VA manager, so that's going to be a skilled worker, um, multitasking um, VA manager, wherein um, uh, you can just go to Upwork because um, when, when you say VA manager, they're just not uh, managing the team. They will need to do um, marketing as well, social media management, and also um, admin tasks. So this person would be all around. So they have to be like minimum of three to five um, years experience in virtual um, freelancing and also in, in real estate, uh, have a strong background in real estate. I would require you to um, or refer you to go to Upwork and um, you will um, definitely you will see um, your, your VA manager there. <laughs> a very, very skilled one. All right. So he said, I'm simply saying if she refers anyone, I take a look. Absolutely. So uh, reach, contact me offline, Frank, uh, message me and we'll get you connected um, to the right spot. So, all right, uh, Francis, we've got a lot of great questions. I want to really go back to someone is asking on the daily um, calls. How many calls should a VA make on a daily basis? Okay. Uh, we require 300 to 400 calls a day. Okay. Out of those three or 400 calls a day, how many leads should a VA submit? A minimum of five to seven leads a day per VAs. Okay. Five to seven per VA. Again, that's very, that is a uh, very, very uh, important, right guys? So, okay. Awesome. Um, Francis, is there any other thing that you'd like to um, throw nuggets on to these guys um, as far as trying to find a good quality of VA? Do they need to be looking for experience? You know, a lot of the questions is where do I find a VA? And we're going to actually solve everybody's problem in a couple of minutes uh, because I did your announcement uh, for you guys on this call. Um, and whoever is on this call, we're going to make sure we give you guys priority. We're only going to have a limited a truly a limited number of opportunity to get people in um, and we'll go over that with you guys. So it'll answer, but Francis, uh, any, you know, final remarks that you might have? Uh, final remarks. Well, um, I think I've already covered everything. I would just um, 
like to um, plug our um, callvirtuals.com. Okay. So, um, we are actually um, in need of um, also um, additional VAs. So I would just like to um, uh, look for, um, if, if you're very, very interested, you can just uh, message Servon and um, reach out to me as well. And um, we're very much interested to, for you to be part of. Um, you kind of made the announcement a little too soon, but it's okay. All right. Um, next question is, did you go over VA costs? Um, can you reiterate a little bit on the VA yeah. cost? For the VA cost, um, if you will have VAs here in the Philippines, again, the the range would be um, 5 to $8 for VAs. But we have an entry level if um, they have no experience. And, but you will be um, uh, spending a lot of time, your time to train them, of course. The entry level would be like $3 to $4. So um, you can just um, increase that depending on how long they're staying in your team. So you can um, increase that 50 cents um, when the time comes. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think that's definitely um, something that a, a lot of people, uh, you know, definitely something that a lot of people do not talk about, um, especially when they're going out and hiring a VA, they don't know what to pay them. Uh, and a lot of these VAs, honestly, I've noticed is that they take these um, investors for a ride, right? Um, for example, when, when I first was looking for a VA, they were saying, you know, um, uh, $13 an hour. And I'm like, what? That's <coughs> luckily, that was more than what people are, people were asking for. Uh, I was like, I can hire somebody locally in America for way less than that, right? Um, and again, you want to make sure you're vetting um, the, the VAs. You want to make sure you're giving them the proper tools, right? You want to make sure you're you're out there, you're training, you're developing uh, the VAs uh, and all that good stuff. So I think it's I think it's time. Let's go ahead and make our, our major announcement. Guys, if you are looking for a virtual assistant, if you don't want to go through the headache of finding a VA, training, developing, we have officially launched our very own call center. Yes, it has happened. Callvirtuals.com. We launched it. We're ready to go. These are highly qualified, trained VAs. Um, I noticed in this market right now and forever, a lot of people had issues hiring the right VA, right? Are you scared that the VA is going to quit on you? Are you scared that the VA is not trained enough? right? Do you not know what to spend on a VA? Listen, guys, we're bringing a major, major, major shift into the market. And I'm super excited to be announcing a uh, callvirtuals.com. It is a call center um, that we have put together for our VAs. And these are my VAs who have worked for me for a very, very long time. I can vouch for them. I can definitely vet them. If you guys are interested, all right, in getting our services, you need to message me right now. I only literally have a few spots to fit a few people in. I think we're going to do um, some, you know, uh, full-time spots, um, maybe one or two part-time uh, spots for, for our VAs. And once again, guys, these are VAs who I trained myself, right? Francesca has trained uh, along with me, right guys? So we've trained and developed these VAs to be a beast. And we're just super excited to bring that to you guys, right? Callvirtuals.com. Make sure, make sure, make sure you guys um, message me, okay? After this podcast is over, make sure you message me. And that's the hardest part. A lot of people are always asking me, what should I pay a VA? A lot of the questions that were on here, right? What should I pay a VA? What should I look for? right? Um, how do I uh, train and develop a VA, right? What do I need to uh, do in order to find a VA, um, a good VA, right? I'll put it like this. A bad VA can cost you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I have heard horror stories where investors have spent literally five to $8,000 trying to hire a VA, put them on a 90 day course, no deal, nothing like that. Our VAs, they have proven results. All right, guys, we've done deals with our VAs, um, $16,000 assignment fee. Where are my freaking HUDs, man? I love showing my, 
There we go. Where are the HUDs at? Where the yeah, there we there we go. I gotta I gotta pull out some of these HUD documents where our VAs have uh you know gotten deals. Look at this one right here. We got a this was a lead from a VA. Where is it? Twelve thousand five hundred. I mean, look at this one right here. Guys, we got the HUDs to prove it. What does this say? Twenty twenty two thousand dollars. Listen, hiring a bad VA. I got I got all these HUDs right here. These are literally all like HUDs. These are closing. These are all closing statement, guys. I wanted to bring a solution. I saw a problem in the market, and this is going to be a phenomenal solution uh, for you guys, right? It's going to be an amazing investment for a lot of you guys out there who don't want to deal with a headache of a VA. That is it, right? We manage them. We train them. We babysit them, right? All you do is you go to closing and you collect a check, right? However you guys want to do it, right? We're open it. We're open to it, right? VAs are going to submit leads to you guys. You're going to get an end of day report uh, from each VA. You're going to get detailed notes uh, from each VA. If you want to download calls and listen to them, right? We'll even let you interview uh, VAs, right, guys? So if you want to, um, like I said, the questions are already coming in. It's going to be crazy, guys. We only have a few spots, guys, believe me or not. Um, this truly is going to be an excellent opportunity for a lot of you guys who are looking for a VA. Uh, what is a monthly minimum a Monthly minimum you're charging for your VA services? Get with us. We are going to go over that with you. All right, guys? It's not a secret. It's not anything like that. It's just so much information to cover. We need to know. We need to learn about your business. It's not about, hey, are we charging, you know, whatever dollar. It's about how we can help you out and how we can structure um, our VAs to help your business um, go out, right? If you need help pulling a list, let us know. We pull lists, right? Francis, how many, what's the number of lists we do um, in call tools? We've broken call tools a couple of times, yeah, right? Actually, we actually have 80 to 90,000 um list leaves or um calling so we've been we're very very busy so we're freaking <laughs> active right per for like every other month right we got a uh, hundred thousand lead lists coming in and the vas are just pounding them left pop 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 right and they're submitting leads we're working leads they're submitting them so guys i'm freaking excited about this i don't have to like we don't want everybody in the, in our in the in the program. We don't need everyone on the planet to come out and, and purchase this, right? Um, listen, right? A bad VA can cost you uh, thousands of dollars. It can cost you a lot of money. A good VA can make you six figures. I'm telling you, I'm a testament. We do it all the time. It was a need in the market. We wanted to bring it to everybody. Make sure, make sure you guys are inquiring about uh the va services i'm getting messages right now already guys we only we only have a certain limited um amount of uh, spots that we can fit our vas in and then as we grow we're going to be continuing training developing right guys training developing and i'm going to tell you guys already it's extremely affordable uh, it, oh my god it blows my mind how crazy and how competitive um our pricing is versus anyone else Right, guys. Um, and again, they're trained by an ex car sales guy. 11 years in the car business. I train car sales guy. I know how to train some VAs. And that's that's kind of what, what we did, right, guys? So, uh, Francis, thank you so much for being on this podcast. Thank you for everything you do for the company, for myself. I'm a crazy ass boss. I understand it. <laughs> I demand a lot. But hey, you get it done. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without my team, uh, my team of managers, and you're one of my managers. And uh, I'm excited for this, uh, for, you know, for for what we have to come. Uh, and like I said, Francis, thank you once again. I truly appreciate you being on this call. Everyone else, thank you guys so much for being on this call. We are super excited. If you are interested in our call center in the Philippines, highly trained professionals. These are not people that just woke up yesterday and said, hey, I want a job. No, these are people who worked for me, who brought me leads in, right? I have made, oh, oh my God, we it, it's nuts, right? We've closed over seven figures last year alone. Guys, it's all about having the right systems, the tools, the processes, right, guys? At the end of the day, you got to be making money, right, guys? And you got to have the right people in your company. And I think that's the biggest thing, right? Francis, I brought you on board. You started off as a regular VA. 
yes. right? You started off as a regular VA. You were cold calling. And I was like, man, she's submitting all these leads. Like, this is pretty good. Like, she's really good at And then we started, like, converting your leads, right? And then people would call us back and say they want to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, shit, she's in the Philippines. Like, <laughs> how are we going to do this, <laughs> right? People be like, nah, I want to talk to Francis. Uh, where Francis at? I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's my bad. So that's the type of relationship that we um, train our VAs to go out and do. And the VAs have scripts. They're trained on the right scripts. They're trained on the right processes. Um, and they're trained on my scripts. I can guarantee you that almost. Right, guys? Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we have no further questions. This was a very successful podcast. Francis, I appreciate you. Now, let's go back and manage all those people. They, they're kind of thinking where we are now. So, appreciate it, Francis. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank Peace you guys. out.